All right, it's time to sharpen those mechanics, usage, and grammar skills. Go ahead and jot down this sentence exactly as it is, mistakes and all. You'll hit pause, make your corrections, and then hit play again when you're ready to see the answer key slide and hear me chat about that. So first up, your sentence for this week is, to give Jane a full, complete look at the university, Mr. Benson took his daughter on a three-day campus tour. All right, pause me. I will be sitting here very patiently waiting for you like I always do when you're ready to talk corrections. All right, first up this time, you guys, I want to talk about this thing right here. Full and complete are both adjectives for the word look. And so when we have similar adjectives describing the same noun, you're going to separate them with a comma. Full and complete mean kind of the same thing. We're talking about the, you know, when they're taking a look at the university. Um, and so those get that because they're of equal weight, meaning or tone, they get that comma treatment to separate them out. Um, if you were using two adjectives that were completely different in weight, meaning, or tone, then you would not separate them with a comma. So for example, if I was wearing a fuzzy black sweater, fuzzy is an adjective for the sweater and black is an adjective for the sweater, but they're very different in meaning. And so you don't separate them with a comma. You just have, you're just wearing a fuzzy black sweater, no comma. But for Jane, she's getting a full, complete look at the university, so you do need that comma there to separate those similar adjectives. Okay, so I put that in there to show you that's how that works. That being said, I really hate that saying. <laughs> I hate that phrase. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, lack of redundancy. Like, I wanted you just to get to the point in your writing. So if I saw this in a student's papers, I actually would just have them take out one of the adjectives altogether because you don't need it. A full look is a complete look. You don't need them both. But again, it's just there to kind of illustrate the you know grammar principle that's at play. So I'll let you decide what you want to do with that one, whether you want to keep it as is or strike the complete. Either way, it's fine by me. University is misspelled. Just switch the order of the S and I. That's what that little squiggle means. Just switch switcheroo. Um, we have this comma right here that's showing that this introductory element is an add-on to the main independent clause. The main sentence is, Mr. Benson took his daughter on a three-day campus tour. There you go. Um, so that comma, because we have a you know, prepositional beginning, so that's a little clue that you're going to have a comma coming up right here like you do. Um, and then three day is hyphenated. Three day describes the tour. It's two words working as one adjective. So it's going to be hyphenated. Interestingly, here I've stacked two adjectives for tour that are not separated with a comma. So a three day tour and a campus tour. Three day is very different in meaning than campus. So notice there is no comma here. That's correct. You would not put a comma there. So I'll clean that up so you can see what that looks like. All right, next sentence up for this week. The movie, which I had rushed to see, didn't start on time because the theater's lights couldn't be dimmed. All right, keeping in mind that I uh, am using American Standard English, that might influence one of your decisions in this sentence. My friends in the UK, you got to do what you got to do. I, I totally get it. Uh, but let's see what we come up with. Uh, hit pause, make your corrections, and then we'll talk about the corrections in just a second. Okay, you guys, so first up, we have non-essential information kind of dropped into the middle of your sentence here. So whenever you do that, you're going to anchor it on either side with commas, just a little visual cue that you could lift up and out, which I had rushed to see, and the main independent clause would still make sense, no problem. Didn't is a contraction, so we need to have that apostrophe right there. Now, because is interesting, right here, we have this comma needs to be removed. The word because is the conjunction here. It's joining the two parts of this sentence, the two independent clauses. You can do that in a variety of ways. If you used one of the fanboys that are conjunctions, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, or so, you do need the comma before those. But the word because is not one of those. And so you don't need the comma before because. It is a common mistake that I see in my kids' papers. They do the comma before because because they're used to using a comma before the other fanboys. But because is not one of the fanboys. So there you go. So go ahead and strike that comma. All right. Friends of the UK, uh, this is where we're going to have disagreement. And you know what? You can totally spell it the way you are supposed to spell it. That's fine. Um, in America, we spell theater with an ER. So I'm going to have you switch the order if you're using American Standard English. If you're using British spelling, you would do the RE. Personally, y'all, I think the RE is prettier. I think it's fancier. When I think of theater, I think of England. You know, I think of Shakespeare. So it makes me, it makes sense that you would spell it R-E. And for the, for the record, there are 
American theater companies that spell it R-E in America, just to confuse things, um, because they're fancy like that. But whatever you do, however you spell theater, you still need to have this guy right here, that apostrophe, showing that the lights belong to that theater. All right, you guys, we made it through another one. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you are batteries all the way juiced up to take on this new week. I will be back on Wednesday with a close look at three advanced level vocab words and always back on Freestyle Friday with a little drop of high school English for you here. Have a great week and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.